Do 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 Camera bag slut. Camera bag slut. <laughs> if there's anything I can assure you, I have like way too many of like over 500 lenses. Yes, that's a fact. It's camera bags. Oh man. <laughs> No, not 500 of them, no. Um, I could definitely say I've tried more than any other of the top 20 or 30 YouTubers. I can definitely say that. Um, also, too, as a person that makes leather bags and a leather worker, I have a distinct appreciation for high quality, and I can sniff it out like a hog sniffs out truffles. <laughs> um... There's, now, when it comes to bags, too, there's a bit of subjectivity. It's kind of like underwear, right? You know, it's like, well, whatever fits my junk good might not fit your junk. <laughs> so it is subjective. I obviously got a different body type than most people. No nasty comments. Um, but you're going to put them anyway down below in the comments. That's okay. Go ahead and do that. Um, now, I'm going to go and talk about three classes of bags that I think are, it's really, even though it's subjective, that it's impossible for you to get one of these and not be incredibly happy with it. Let's first go off with my favorite, in a sense, and obviously too, when you get a bag like this, you kind of look like a hobo. It does look like a hobo's bag, like a, you know, rough and tumble bag, so nobody knows you got like really expensive camera crap inside. Now, they make them in, like, countless different sizes. This is the large size. This is the Retrospective 30. Okay. Can you see it here? The Retrospective 30. This camera bag, I don't have the other one. You have the smaller version over here. This camera bag, the Think Tank ones like this, they're kind of like that ultra-soft spandex Lycra undies that... Yeah, just, it's so soft. It's so comfortable <laughs> to have this actually over your shoulder. There's actually no other camera bag like it. Well, no matter what you throw in here, whether you jam it full or even half full, it always fits snugly, and it always contours to your body. And it's literally definitely the most comfortable camera bag you could ever buy, depending on what size you want. And I've got several different sizes. You can actually make the Velcro silent, which, of course, is important for wedding photographers. The way this is designed by Think Tank, it really is a class above. I know it kind of looks, you know, if you're going for some people, there are two different types of people, well, really three. There are people who want to impress people with, like, really, really expensive camera bags that are not that comfortable. And, like, if some other scumbag were to look at you, he's like, that's a really expensive bag. I bet there's some expensive shit in that bag. <laughs> and then they rob you and then there's other people that like want i want to walk around all day and not think about my damn camera bag because it's so comfortable kind of like those ultra silky nylon lycra undies that you <laughs> i've got some of those by the way uh this is the uh retrospective 30 it does come with a rain slicker which i don't happen to have in here i got it in the back room so you take it out you unfold it and you know it wraps around it like a condom you know to keep your camera gear dry this is an X size down from it. I think this is actually an X size. This is a retrospective 7. To me, this is a bit too small. It's more than enough for a camera and a few lenses, or at least a medium format camera and two lens. Um, absolutely love the thing. And they're available in like blue and slate gray and desert tan and some other really drab blah color, but they really are kind of like those ultra snuggy undies that you know, give you that ooh feeling. <laughs> it really is an incredibly comfortable camera bag. Here's my favorite aesthetic camera bag. And I've got like a few of them here. Yeah, do I have, I've got three of these. Do I have three or four of these? I got three, I brought three of these out. <laughs> the next size underneath it is the uh, Prince Street. This is the Brixton. Okay, the Prince Street is just a bit too small. Um, awesome. This is the Ona. It's made by Ona. O-N-A. This is called the Brixton. B-R-I-X-T-O-N. The inside is uh, very luxurious and soft. It's, uh, it's uh, actually a very comfortable camera bag, but, uh, you know, uh, if you're worried about getting robbed, which I'm not here in the South, because here in the South, people know better than to rob other people because, you know, 
stuff might happen. You know, bad things might go down if they try to rub you. But, uh, yeah, if you put your cameras in this, people be know you're coming with some, like, expensive camera gear. People will assume that you got, like, some $20,000 like inside this bag. It is a very prestigious-looking bag, but it's also extremely well-made. Like I said, I'm definitely a person that appreciates uh, ultra-fine leather goods. Let me show you another one. They make this in several different leather versions. Here's the exact same bag. <laughs> yeah, I know. The exact same bag in black leather. Um... Actually, Adorama had this bag. Uh, it was like open box, and they just must have wanted to get rid of it. Just had to get rid of it, and they just sold it so stupid cheap. I think these bags are like $380 new. You should shop for used ones on eBay. This is the same thing in black leather. And there we go with that one. They also make it in a much cheaper version. Here we go here. This one, I have used the hell out of it, and then some, and I've re-waxed it. It doesn't come looking like this. This is where I heavily re-waxed it. This is also a Brixton. This is in waxed canvas and leather. It is a very beautiful bag. The one that's uh, new looking doesn't look... This one looks like, you know, I, I did wax the hell out of it. This one is very, very waterproof. Like very, It is supposed to be waxed canvas. Actually, the waxed canvas that you buy brand new, and as far as camera bags go... They are waxed, but they're not waxed that good. The water does penetrate. When I wax a waxed canvas, it is really waxed. That sounds sexual. <laughs> anyway, this is the Ona Brixton. O-N-A-B-R-I-X-T-O-N. There we go. Here's the next size down. It's like, how many bags this dude got? Got a lot of bags. This is how it actually looks from the factory. This is also... The same wax canvas bag. Actually, I wax this one also. This is called the Prince Street. To me, this one is a hair small. Um, does come with a nice, uh, really thick. Uh, the leather quality on this, too, is extremely good, well made. They're made in the Dominican Republic. Comes with this uh, nice carry handle. This is the Prince Street Ona. You can also get this in various types of leather. They're not cheap bags at all. They're pretty damn expensive. And uh, anybody that wants to rob you, is going to know you got some expensive camera crap in there. I got two different sizes on this, my favorite backpack in the world. They make it in the 150 and the 250. This is made by Low Pro. Man, there's no other backpack like this. It was designed by angels. It's called the Slingshot Edge 150. Now, 150 AW, Slingshot Edge, E D G E, 150 AW. Uh, they make this in a uh, size that's almost twice the size. I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, I think this one's like 60 bucks, and I know the 250 is like $80 new. Um, so comfortable. Uh, the design on it is absolutely brilliant. It actually comes with straps here that I've taken off for holding a tripod or a monopod on the front. You actually have a front compartment, a top main compartment that stops right about here for dropping lenses in with uh, two pouches, and then right here on the bottom, you can see the pictures on B&H Photo if you go over there. I'm not going to post links to these bags because I don't want to accuse any, I don't sell anything. I don't want to be accused of having affiliate links. Here you can see, now I actually took the, the dividers out of there. There are actually a lot of dividers on the inside of this normally, but not right now, since I took them out. And my favorite one, which has my, uh, Medium format GFX uh, 50R in there. This is the Slingshot Edge 250. Okay. Right now I've got a couple lenses and a speed light up here on top, and I have my GFX 50R and some other accoutrements uh, here in the bottom. This is made by Low Pro. This is the Slingshot Edge 250 AW. It actually goes across your back uh, like a bandolier. Um, I never found anything more comfortable or more brilliant than this. It is a really brilliant uh, backpack. Um, it only has one shoulder strap, like I said, so... Yeah, it's like a cross-shot bag. Now, there's only one thing that I suggest you do if you buy one of these, is that someone can come up behind you and click this and let it loose and steal your backpack. I put two zip ties right here to lock it into place. Um, so the only deficiency on these bags that I know of, you know, I. I've used the hell out of them, is that, uh, that you could actually undo this straight from the factory. So I put these uh, zip ties in here to keep anybody, including myself, from snapping this, you know, and letting everything immediately drop, which would not be a good idea. 
but it is a brilliant design. All these backpacks have those stupid quick release, and I don't like that. I wish they would not do that, those dumbasses. Low Pro is not the only company that does that. Every one of them does that. And that is what we call stupid. But uh, I'm able to fix that. I could fix anything. Here's the uh, snaps in the front, the, uh, the latching straps for holding a monopod or a tripod. Same compartment. Top compartment stops right about here, as you can obviously see. So those are the bags that I know that if someone bought them, they would be incredibly happy with them. Just undeniably, no matter what your body type is. And uh, yeah, these make great Christmas gifts and they're very inexpensive, relatively speaking. So thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can always click the link below. Anything helps because I don't sell anything and I don't have an affiliate link and all that other crap that other people do to try to sell you stuff. Whatever you buy, I don't make a dime. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, Girl Scout.